Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question from a developer looking to build a BitTorrent client in Ruby. They want to know how to connect to peers when using a tracker, especially when behind a NAT. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To connect to peers in a BitTorrent network, we first need to understand how the tracker works. When you query the tracker at the slash announce endpoint, it provides a list of peers for a specific info hash. In your case, you received your own IP address and the public IP of your ISP. This is common when you're behind a NAT, as the tracker only sees your public-facing IP. To connect to peers, you need to establish a direct TCP connection. However, since you're behind a NAT, you cannot connect directly to your local IP from the outside. One solution is to use port forwarding on your router. This allows incoming connections on a specific port to be forwarded to your local machine running the BitTorrent client. Alternatively, you can explore using UDP hole punching, which is effective for NAT traversal. This method allows peers to connect without needing to know your public IP. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To connect to peers in BitTorrent, there are two main concerns. First, how do peers on the internet connect to your native node? This is done using NAT traversal methods, which may involve negotiating with the NAT device or manual configuration. The second concern is how peers within your local network connect to each other. This requires a router that supports hairpin routing along with port forwarding, or local peers can discover each other's internal addresses using methods like local service discovery. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.